Good morning, Bill. And this Fox News alert now, the State Department is ordering U.S. diplomats out of Beirut due to security concerns there. The State Department also recommending that U.S. citizens in Lebanon and in southeastern Turkey limit their travel. Meanwhile, there is a new video that was obtained by the New York Times, and it is raising a lot of questions about the rebel fighters in Syria, known as the opposition. There are many groups that fall under that category. Uh, the New York Times came out after this photo was published and said that the video is from last year. It's from 2012. The video itself uh, is far too graphic to show you on television, but that's the still image. And it shows rebel fighters standing over captured Syrian soldiers. The video shows the rebels pointing a gun at the shirtless men as the camera rolled. These soldiers who you see bent uh, onto the ground were then summarily executed. Leland Vitter joins us now live in our Mideast Bureau. So Leland, let's start with the situation in Beirut. What are people there being told at this hour? Uh, U.S. embassy employees, the non-essential embassy employees, are being evacuated. Probably more tellingly, U.S. citizens are being urged to leave Lebanon. And this all comes down to the risk of retaliation. Remember, Lebanon is mostly controlled by the militant group Hezbollah, financed by Iran and a leading ally of Syria. In fact, many Hezbollah fighters are in Syria fighting for President Bashar Assad right now. The Syrians and the Iranians have vowed revenge. That could come in the form, of course, of a Hezbollah attack perhaps on Israel. Could also come in the attack on U.S. interests inside Lebanon. The founder of Hezbollah was one of the people behind the original attacks on U.S. interests in Lebanon, that being the 1980s bombings of not only the embassy there, but also the Marine barracks. So there's a lot of history here. The Lebanese security forces do not have a lot of control over Hezbollah and what it might do. Clearly, there's some intelligence now on the ground that says Hezbollah may very well be planning something. We've also heard that the Iranians may be trying to look at other avenues to respond to a U.S. strike on Syria, possibly even attacking U.S. interests in Iraq or other places around the world as it would be more difficult to really start a war, but certainly able to target something with a car bomb that would have a catastrophic effect. Martha? Obviously, those are big concerns right now. Uh, Leland, back to the rebels who are pictured. In that uh, picture on the front of the New York Times, which is a very disturbing one, and the video that goes along with it is even worse, what do we really know about the rebels who are operating in Syria? Well, that's really the problem. In the video the New York Times uncovered is just one of many that those of us who have been covering this story for the past couple of years have seen of the rebels committing atrocities that are, are equally as bad as what the government has allegedly done in various cases, summarily executing people, torturing people, those kinds of things. And it really goes to this core issue of who are the rebels. There's what they call the Free Syrian Army, who have been sort of passed off as these moderate groups. But then on the other side, conceivably much better financed, much better equipped, much better run, are jihadists who have come in from not only Iraq, but also Jordan, Libya, those countries that are really taking over the fight, that are much more interested in an Islamic State, Sharia law inside Syria than any kind of free and democratic country. Yeah, Martha? Obviously, that's the big dilemma uh, when we look at the opposition and the rebels, the division of exactly who these groups are. Leland, thank you.